What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Chris back again with another video for you guys today. In this video, I want to discuss ways to make coins today if you are watching this video. How to make some coins with La Liga Team of the Season. If you guys do enjoy this type of content, make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe if you're new around here as well. Let's kind of talk about first, what have we seen on the market today? Obviously, it is a Thursday. The market has absolutely gotten sky high. If you look at the the special index on FUBIN, the market is just absolutely skyrocketed at, was at a low earlier this morning at 95 points, went really up at 98, kind of trickled down a little bit, and then until 6 p.m. UK, man, that is when the market really jolted really high, and it's now upwards of 104, so it's up 9 points today. Some of the really big rises, and I'm going to discuss some of them, uh, and this will pertain to La Liga and some of the cards there, so I'm definitely going to be taking a look with you guys on certain, some cards that could do really well with all league specials. So, some of the cards that I saw today uh, that did well is past specials, right? Past specials of cards that got in the team of the season. So, obviously, Sun got a team of the season card. Now, his go his inform card, okay, today went from 248 all the way upwards to 295, and he's right now at 300. What his daily graph is showing me here is on the last Thursday, he was 226, and then he went to 242 by the Friday, and then 286 by the Saturday. So that card went up 60,000 coins because of how expensive the team of the season Sun is, and the amount of coins that came onto the market on that Friday. Now, if you look at Sun's team of the season graph, obviously I told you guys to buy team of the seasons today uh, on rewards day. Now, what you are seeing for the most part on this is he hit a low uh, right here around rewards time, 173. He went right up, like super, super quick up to 195. Uh, and now he's up at like 19-ish right now, 1895. All the team of the season that you're seeing right now, you're seeing a really big rise in the cards. I'm looking at like Richarlison. He, I think he was 15s. He's now 178 or something like that. He's at a ridiculous price. I mean, this Rashford man at rewards, and this is the reason why buying at rewards is such a good opportunity. At rewards. This Rashford card was 600,000 coins, 613k. He then went all the way up to 730 today. 730. This is why you want to buy Ad Rewards because this is a card that got supplied a lot and then got bought up right away. Now, I had um, so look at look at Robertson right 358 right now. Now, if you look at Rewards time, I believe he hit 295 as well. Uh, rewards time. He didn't quite hit 295, but people told me in my chat on Twitch that he did hit 295 on Snipes. And then he went up right away, man. 350. So, that was a good opportunity for you guys to get in on some stuff. Wamasaka was downwards of 270. He then went to 336. Um, so, if you bought today during rewards, man, and you listened to what I explained, look at how low he went, and then he went right back to 335. Buying at rewards is a very, very good way to make coins on this game. Especially if you want to buy cards for out-of-pack investments. I expect these cards to keep rising in price as the couple days go on. He was down at 370. He's up at 420. Uh, he was down at 38. He's now 429. Uh, Van Dyke had one of the biggest rises today. So Van Dyke went... He's 293 right now. But if you look at where he was, he was 269. And went all the way to almost 3 mil. And he's probably going to hit 3 mil out-of-packs as well. Now, I'm going to show you guys, um, I packed a Virgil Van Dyke today on um, a team of the season, um, like, upgrade packs, and we also packed Sadio Mane, so those two cards are definitely going to be in our club, they're definitely going to be playing for us, they're going to be starting, and next to him is Rafael Veron. Now, this is a great type of card to invest in if you want to make some coins tomorrow. The 86, any, in, so the any... Any version of the, of uh, Veron, you guys can buy, in my opinion. Now, the 85 is up a lot right now, and the reason for that is because it is a Thursday, so people are buying into a car like this. But you could still buy, in my opinion, probably like 47 to 49 if you can get that. This would be a great card for out-of-pack investing. Kind of like what Virgil did. Look at where Virgil went today. This 90 gold car, I think, was at a high 350. He's 390 right now. He has 390,000 coins, and last Thursday, the car was 262. Remember what I told you guys last week about Gold Van Dyke, how easy of an investment that car was going to be? 
this is the reason why. I mean, the amount of money, the amount of money that this card went up in a week, bro, it's just unbelievable. 125,000 coins. We saw a few special cards from from the Premier League also go up a lot today, and that was Tomori. Tomori went from like 460 all the way to 600 today. 610,000 coins. If you look at the daily graph, last Thursday, April 30th, he was 384, went to 410 on the Friday, 470 by the Saturday, kept dropping, you know, throughout the week because obviously there was a lot of panic on the market. And then really yesterday, I mean, on the market, he just went, he flew, dude, up to 600,000 coins. And that is the reason why you buy a lot of these special cards that are not getting Team of the Seasons and cards that do get Team of the Seasons. Like, you buy their past specials because they make... Uh, they people cannot pack those cards so they go and buy the next best version uh which is obviously those cards this would be the kind of card that what he went up because he gets links to a lot of other people think about this if somebody packs a trend and they can't get uh virgil they'll go and link him with a tomori right if you know center mid henderson tomori gets a strong link to him right around the same price budget you look at rashford left mid right you can look at any of these english cards that we got they all get links to Tamori, and they all um, they all just link to him, and that's why he goes up in price. So, if I were you guys, if you guys know some cards that are getting into Team of the Season tomorrow, and I'm going to rattle off a few names to you guys uh, while we're looking at the market. So, let's go take a look at some of the cards in the market that you guys could potentially make some coins on by buying early. Buying, like, before 6 p.m. tomorrow. So, the first card I want to look at is... Um, let's go take a look at Ramos. Now, Ramos has a 91 inform card, and he will be getting a team of the season. Now, I think that this Ramos card will be over 1.5 million coins. So, any version of Ramos, the gold card will go out of packs. You could buy that card. He should rise, whether that be because he's meta or because he goes in the SBCs. He should go up. The uh, 90 card should go up obviously right away the 91 card should also go up if i could take a look at this 91 price um he is currently looks like at like 270 260 so that's a card that i would look to pick up uh could see 300 by that tomorrow or saturday night the market should do really really well tomorrow night i think with the lightning rounds and depending on what SBC they bring out i think the market should do really well uh if you have any cars that you guys want to take some coins on i would do it tomorrow night uh, people always ask me, like, when to sell Mbappe, when to sell Neymar. If they didn't go up that much today, I would still say take the coins tomorrow night because the market always does go up on Friday night. So he's about 450 right now, Neymar. Maybe you expect that to go to 480, 490 tomorrow night. Stuff like that. Um, now, I heard that Thomas Partey could get in, and I'm looking at this 88 uh, card right here. This would be a really good investment, in my opinion. If he does get, like, a 94, 95 team in the season... This 88 card will do really, really well, in my opinion. Now, it looks like he's currently 100 in... It's about 100,000 coins. I like that a lot for an investment. Someone that is meta, all 80-plus stats. I think that card could do really, really well uh, in the upcoming few days. And you guys could take the coins on them. Take the coins on Saturday night, like we saw with Virgil, like we saw with other players. They kind of drop off with weekly sell-off and Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And then you can buy them back when that guaranteed SBC does come out. And there's a little bit of panic on the market in the meantime. So look at Thomas Partey for a card to look at. Um, Cruz, obviously, if he does get into team this season, um, I'd be looking at his Scream card. Uh, I don't know what his Scream price is, but I would honestly look at it. Because it still probably would be a better version. It won't have as much pace as the team uh, as the scream card, so I would definitely take a look at this card as an investment. Uh, he's currently 108k right now, which is not that bad, honestly, for a card that doesn't have that met, uh, that bad of pro of of like supply or or demand either. It doesn't look like that bad. Um, Odegaard, I think, is going to get in as well. Messi's going to get in. Suarez, Benzema. Uh, De Jong's team of the year. Now, we got to talk about De Jong's team of the year, guys, because that card has been falling off a cliff lately. He was up at, like, 185 last week, uh, and he's now down to under 1.5 mil, almost close to 1.4 flat. This card, depending on the stats of the team of the season, if the team of the season is better, this card should rebound. If the team of the season is better, though, that team of the year event uh De Jong should just keep dropping in price like robertson did like trent did it gives extra supply to that card and a card that's better and maybe more affordable 
you will see the team here keep dropping and obviously there's gonna be a point where he hits his lowest and then he should rebound that's up to you guys as to predict what may uh be the lowest point on that card so you definitely could take a look at that um Messi, i think we could see a little bit of a drop off on Messi as well kind of like the whole team of the year team we're seeing a lot of sell-off because people are expecting these cards to have similar versions of a team of the season so you know if Messi's at like 3.6 3.5 and his team of the season is the same version with maybe a little bit better stats at 3.5 you may see people selling this version off to go and get the team of the season because they want to try the new card out Maybe it has better. They're going to have to give better sets to that Messi, I think, just to make him a little bit more appealing. Obviously, Messi is one of the best players in the game, so they don't really need to have help when it comes to making him uh, appeal. But I think he's going to be better, just like we saw with Van Dyke, KDB, Trent, Robertson, all those kind of team of the years. Uh, tomorrow during lightning rounds, there's going to be a couple different things you guys can do to make some coins. Um, SBC fodders are low, really, really low. I'm talking like mad low, chat. I just called you guys chat. That's how long. I'm, that's how many times I've been streaming this week. By the way, it's been ridiculous. Um, follow me on the Twitch. By the way, you guys got to get over there uh, and come through because we we have a lot of fun, man. Look at eighty fives. The price of eighty fives, man, are under six thousand coins. This is the lowest they've been in a long freaking time. Eighty sixes are thirteen k. Eighty sevens are twenty k. Eighty eights are thirty k. Eighty nines are forty three. If you see any of these cards start dropping tomorrow, pick them up, sell them next Tuesday, next Wednesday into the hype or if you guys want to because everyone is investing in SBC fires make sure you guys get out of them in the first hour because i got out of 10 out of vials 10 to 12 out of vials last week uh during the prem SBC, he went up 5,000 coins immediately then he started coming back down because there was a lot of over investment in that SBC. okay make sure you guys get out in the first 30 to an hour because i think those cards start to dip again because people already have done the SBC and because people are over investing in that SBC. so definitely take a look at cheapest players you can take a look at this obviously on fuppin um in terms of the team this season for the prem that should keep rising on a packs in my opinion uh if you see any dip on these cards in the morning time before 6 p.m or even like six to seven i would buy i would buy in any sort of dip on these cards i would definitely buy before they go out of packs um now buying obviously uh specials from la liga is gonna be a good opportunity for you guys to make some coins tomorrow uh, in the morning time, if they get panic sold prior to 6 p.m., you guys could buy into those cards, and they should rise. So if we look at maybe, maybe we go like 100k plus on all these special cards. Um, like for example, 91 Modric could rise a little bit. Um, Samedo's headliner should rise if he does get a team of the season because Samedo headliner is going to be a lot cheaper than the Samedo team of the season card. That card is going to be 700k minimum. I still see people using the gold card in teams. He's going to be really, really hyped up. I think we're going to get Oblak. We're going to get Ter Stegen. That 92 Ter Stegen should be a good price for you guys to buy into that as well. Because the 95, 96, 97 Ter Stegen, whatever it is, will probably up, be upwards of like 300,000, 400k coins. Um, there'll be a lot of demand in that goalkeeper because he is the best keeper on the game. And it is pretty known that he is. Uh, Messi's inform will be a really good investment, I think, if you can get, if you can get a good uh, price for him. Now, right now, I think he's about 820. Under like 790 ish would be a really good card, a uh, really good price for that. Um, Lamar Fell Birthday would probably be something that goes up next Thursday during rewards. Um, Griezmann. Now, Griezmann's interesting. If they do give him a team this season and he doesn't get the weak foot upgrade, you will see this card rise a lot because the team this season Griezmann will be expensive and it will not be uh, as affordable as this card and he would have the five star skill attribute as well that is why mbappe's full birthday card will probably do well during league on if he doesn't get that five star five star card so look out for this griezmann same with the hazard as well um hazard should not get into team this season tomorrow but if he does by any chance because he want to make money look and see if they have the five star weak foot the five star skills whatever they have is their weak foot um or their attributes because you can probably see those cards rise um i would look at this dembele uc alive if you see any panic on him rodrigo valverde any of these type of cards guys i would be taking a look at their uh their supply you know mendy uh shapeshifter venetius shapeshifter any of these high tier la liga cards you know emerson as well if they drop tomorrow morning i would look to pick them up because those cards should do well theoretically tomorrow night as all the prem players did on friday night and saturday last week 
So I would expect these cards to definitely rise. Munayin as well, if we don't get many cams uh, that are Spanish, I could see this going up a little bit. Even if he gets a, uh, a team of the season card, maybe it'll be a little bit more expensive. So this card would still rise, in my opinion. Um, during lightning rounds, like I said, you could get SBC fodders. You could also invest in La Liga Rare Golds. La Liga Rare Golds at under 800 coins would be a good investment, in my opinion, because the SBC is most likely going to come out on uh, Monday. So you can buy these at under 8900 during lightning rounds, and then you can sw you can wait pretty much and either do the SBC on Monday or you can flip them for a little bit of profit. They won't go to three mil like or to three thousand coins like the team of the season prem cards that caused them to go up that much. You'll probably go to one point five for these cards, but look out during lightning rounds. Those cards could be a good opportunity for you guys to get in on some uh, some low budget investing. Pretty much, I would expect an SBC to come out tomorrow. I'm expecting maybe one of a Suarez, a Mendy. Militao, maybe flashback SBC. We got it in DD last Friday. I'm expecting some sort of player SBC on the Friday as well. Because that's what EA does. They like to stimulate the fodder market and just not making an absolute drop. They got to have some sort of SBC to make them kind of regulate a bit. So expect that to happen. One of those three possibly could get in. I would expect the market as a whole. If you see anything that is dropping tomorrow, icons, babies, middles, primes during lightning rounds, prime moments during lightning rounds. If you see, for example, this real Fernand has gone up like 250k today. This real moments. And this is why the market has gone up so much today. He is 189. That's how high this guy is right now. He was 16 uh yesterday. Rio's prime card is like a mil. Like he is over a million coins, I believe. Like, let's take a look. Um Yeah, he's a mil 40. Like, this is like 900 and under. Um during uh rewards last night so these cards have gone up a lot if you see them drop back down again take a look at those cards uh they should rebound by 8 p.m uk time tomorrow you should look out for those kind of cards um i would say doing the basic uh icon filter getting to the like 59th minute and trying to look at icons that have basic filters on them because obviously there's gonna be a lot of icons being packed during lightning rounds you should see uh a fair share of cards being listed and maybe some decent deals in the process as well so take a look at the icon 59th minute because you should be able to get to the 59th quicker because it's basic and you might be able to get some deals in the process of it so like for example at 93 92 pirlo here at 330 not a deal but maybe you see one pop of 250 tomorrow right if you see something like that it's gonna be a good amount of coins so take a look at stuff like that uh, this is a long ass video. I'm trying to think of other things. Like I said, La Liga specials are going to be really, really good. Past specials. I'm not going to go into prices because there's too many players to look at. But honestly, if you look at their graph right now as you're watching the video, and then before like 4 to 6 p.m. time, if you see there's a panic on the market, pick some of those cards back up because they should rise. Um, if you guys want like Neymar tomorrow, if he drops to 420, he should easily go 480. He does the same trend every single Friday. Always goes down in the morning, goes up in the nighttime. Uh, Mbappe, same thing, goes up between like 40 to 50k. Messi, Messi's gold, guys. I haven't noted, I haven't showed you guys this yet. But any card that is going out of packs, like I said, Ramos, Messi is going to be somebody that is going to be going out of packs this week. He is currently at 420,000 coins. If you see this at 400 to 410, pick it up. It's going to be, it's going to do really, really well, like a Van Dyke almost tomorrow night and friday in my opinion so definitely look at Lionel messi as somebody to look at for uh out of pack investing same with Varane, same with saul same with ramos same with griezmann benzema all of these gold cards you guys can buy before they go out of packs last week we bought on stream sun uh de bruyne mane all went up 10k plus and same thing with virgil i bought him a 260 i sold him a 300 that day so Take a look at stuff like that. I hope you guys did enjoy this type of content. Make sure you guys do drop a like. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll talk to you guys in a video soon. Peace out.